everyone! So today I want to take a few minutes to show you how to make your own sugar scribes. Now what are sugar scribes? They're kind of like a glorified toothpick that you use to move some of your royal icing around on your cookies. Um, why do we want these fancy things? Well, because they're cute, so why not? Uh, most of you are fairly familiar with pretty generic ones. They just come in different colors, they're fairly pointy, and it just is a, a nice stainless steel option so that you don't have to worry about the toothpick and getting the toothpick all dirty, whatever. Very easy to wipe off. So that's why I prefer to do ones that have the stainless steel. But these are super cute and there's a lot of really super cute ones that are out there. So I wanna talk about how you can make your own using silicone beads and cocktail picks and maybe a little bling too. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own and where you can find some of these silicone items. So follow me. So what do you need in order to make some of these things? Well, first and foremost, you need some stainless steel cocktail picks. You can find them on Amazon, you could probably get them at Walmart and places like that, but you definitely want some stainless steel ones, very important, they're food grade safe. I also liked these little bling beads, that's what I call them. Um, they just give a little sparkle, so you can see on like the owl, you've got the little blue sparkle right there. Um, it just gives it a little extra something, really makes it very pretty. The other thing you need are silicone beads, and you can buy these at some art stores. Around where I live, they really don't exist. Um, so I buy mine online, you can get them from all sorts of different stores, you can go to Etsy, I highly recommend Etsy, um, but you can also get them on Amazon and things like that too. And then of course, uh, you can do different seasons as well. And the last thing you're gonna need are some earring backers. And these things, come, I mean, as you can see, there's a ton of them in here. I got these off Amazon simply because I couldn't find them in the store very quickly. Um, I'm sure I was probably going down the wrong aisle. So I just grabbed them on Amazon. They're really cheap and that's what holds all of your beads on, as you can see. Okay, so why are we doing this today? Well, number one, I like to have really cute cookie scribes or sugar scribes, sugar scrolls. I mean, I've heard them called a bunch of different things, but uh, you know, they, they can run fairly expensive, you know, depending on where you buy them. You can buy them on Etsy, you can buy them from your favorite cookie shop, and really this is, like I said before, a glorified toothpick. So I really just want something cute, something customized, and something that, I don't know, just makes me happy when I move the royal icing around. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my stainless steel pick. This one actually has a hole in it, so you can even buy charms and put a charm on it as well if that makes you happy. And watching the very pointy end, by the way, I have stuck myself more than once. You're very carefully going to put on your first bead, silicone bead. And then I like to follow it up with a little bling. Again, being very careful not to catch yourself on the little pointy end. Some of them are a little hard to put on. Nice and tight. Follow it up with another bead. Maybe another piece of bling, because why not? Followed by eh, one more color. So now that I'm here, obviously they can get a little loose if I don't put something on the end, which is where your earring backing comes in. So the hole for the earring backing is very, very small, but it does stretch. So being very careful, this is where nails come in handy. You're gonna just slide it on and push it all the way till it's nice and snug on that last bead. And there you have your sugar scribe, cookie scribe, sugar scroll, whatever you wanna call it. Your fun, fancy thing that will help you move around all that beautiful royal icing. And look at that, I even have a matching set. Thank you for joining us today. And there you have it, how to make your very own sugar scribes going from a fairly generic, though still upgraded from a regular toothpick to something a little more customized for yourself, maybe in a fall theme because it is fall right now, or if you're getting ready for the holidays, I know it's not even the end of October yet, but just in case you are, you also have very fun Christmassy ones. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for joining me, and until next time, have a wonderful day.